Welcome to the fifth episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. Sticking to the formula of the past two episodes, I've taken a look at yet another Alien Breed title. This time around I've been playing Alien Breed Tower Assault, the third title in the series. Like its two predecessors, Tower Assault is a top-down run-and-gun action game. It opens with an extremely cheesy 7.5 minute FMV section that is part real movie and part pre-rendered animation, in a tiny window in the middle of the screen. The acting, if you can call it that, is so bad that it's hard to believe, but sometimes that's part of the charm of these old games. The FMV ends with you crash landing just outside a science facility from which an SOS was received. The base defense systems consider you an enemy, so you're not only dealing with aliens this time, the security systems of the base also pose a serious threat. The basic gameplay hasn't changed. You run around blasting aliens while searching for the nearest exit in order to progress to the next level. Along the way you enable self-destruction systems to thoroughly eliminate the alien threat from the sector. One excellent addition has been made to the gameplay though. The ability to shoot at the aliens while running backwards. By pressing a button your character switches between running forwards and backwards and that's a feature that really becomes important as you progress in the game. Another important addition to the franchise is that Tower Assault is a sort of an open world approach to alien breed. You travel between the levels by traversing some outdoor areas some heavily booby-trapped outdoor areas. I hate those landmines. The order in which you visit the different areas is up to you. But not really, because if you visit them in the wrong order, you'll be extremely underpowered when you get there, because you haven't bought the right upgrades yet. There's no need to beat around the bush, so I'll just say it straight away. I didn't much care for Alien Breed Tower Assault. I know I'm not gonna win any popularity contest saying that, but hey, that's how I feel after playing it for a while. This is not a title I'll be going back to anytime soon. The game is simply too unforgiving for my taste, with all the respawning aliens and damned landmines, and I consider myself pretty proficient at shooters. But let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about Alien Breed Tower Assault. They didn't really agree. Some rated it very highly, while others hated it for the same reasons that I do. Amiga Format gave the game 80%. They write, you're in possession of a gun and you're invited to wander corridors and shoot the inhabitants. If you're a fan of the Breed series, then chances are you'll enjoy Tower Assault. Mere mortals, though, may find it frustrating. Amiga Power gave it 65% and they reviewed the game itself without the addition of the FMV intro to a score as low as 46%. They finish off with the occasional burst of excitement such as fighting back to back out of a terrifying ambush or managing a 30 second dash, can't make up for the enraging awfulness of the way it's been put together. This could have been such a good game, but it isn't. Grim determination may pay off, but it's not really worth the heartache. The One gave it 86% and they wrote, Combining some of the better elements from the previous two games along with some tried and tested adventure quirks, Tower Assault offers the player a less linear game, calling for exploration and mapping skills. They also write, the split between wasting aliens, puzzle solving and exploration has been expertly set. And apart from the odd level that, like its predecessors, sends you panicking to an exit while the timer counts down, you can creep around being scared very nicely for most of the time. As you can see, opinions were split back in the day. Personally, while I respect Tower Assault for what it tried to do, I by far prefer the first installment in the series. As it stands, I can only give this game 2 out of 5.